Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And today we're gonna talk about the built-in screen recorder that is in the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. But this will also pertain if you have the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a trick that will let you know just a little bit more information than the average owner of the Galaxy series who have not watched this video. Now, if you guys like this video and you like the information I'm giving you, because this one I wanna make pretty fast and quick just to show you the built-in screen recorder. But if you want me to go in depth and in detail, make sure you guys write those comments below the video, then I'll make an additional video to go more in depth. But I'm gonna show you the fast way, the quick way, of doing a screen record with your Samsung Galaxy series. Now there is two other applications you can use if you wanted to, um, which is actually also downloaded on my phone because I've used these in the past, which is Moby Zen as well as the AZ screen recorder. But if you wanted to record any type of gameplay that you do, then you wanna turn on your game launcher. Now, once you have the game launcher turned on, let's say that you go inside of a game and you wanted to maybe post this on YouTube or post this on Facebook or do whatever you want wanted to with it. Once you're inside of a game and you have the game launcher turned on, if you swipe up, you have these options down over here, which is some of the game tools. Inside of the game tools, you can do full screen. You can have no alerts during the game and a whole bunch of other stuff. But again, in this video, I'm gonna to try to make it quick and to the point. You have an option down here that's called record. And then once you do the record, um, you can have a couple different options if you wanted your little image to be maybe a picture, um, or maybe if you wanted it to be um, maybe your front facing camera pointing at you if you're playing the game, or you can have it as none. You can also change all the different settings of either having it use the microphone or the internal game card just to return or record the game. So let's say that we go inside this game really fast. We're gonna hit on play. So now that we've played this game just a little bit, what I'm gonna do is if you wanted to stop your recording, you wanna pull down the notifications panel. You're gonna tap on this option here where it says tap to stop recording and it puts it into a folder. So now that you've captured your video, where exactly is it stored? It is being stored inside your gallery and it's titled as a folder of the game title. So if you played the game Toon Blast, it'll be underneath Toon Blast. If you're recording your gameplay of Pokemon Go, it'll be a folder called Pokemon Go. But it will also be stored inside of your game launcher on the top right hand side called My Games. When you go inside of My Games, this is showing you all the different games you have downloaded, how often you've played it. But on the top right hand side, it does show the videos recorded. And this is not just the only video, this is actually the the folder of the video clips taken from that game. Now, if there was another game you've played, then it would say maybe Pokemon Go, then maybe it'll say the Mini Golf King, and then Candy Crush, whatever it may be, then you're gonna have individual videos inside of those folders when you had them that was recorded. Now, really fast, I guess I can show you um, for the videos that are recorded. You can press and hold on one of these, and then you can check out the details, you can delete it, or you can share it. So if you wanna put it on Facebook or YouTube instantly, that is one of the really quick and fast ways of putting a video somewhere. So here is the trick and the additional knowledge that I wanted to show inside of this video, um, which is going to be exactly, what if you wanted to record the screen but not use a third party screen recording app, um, but it's also not a game. So maybe you wanted to record what you're doing on Twitter or something else. Uh, what you are able to do is once you actually have your game launcher turned on, um, you, you wanted to maybe try to add in another application, but it'll say, hey, you can't do that because it's not a game. So if we go into add applications, and we scroll down and let's say that we wanted to try Twitter. Well, if we try to put Twitter in there, it's stating that it can't really use the game launching features because it's a non-game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to remove that little um, icon from there because it can't really use all the game features. But what you can do is pull down the notifications panel, go underneath your performance mode and move it over into game and hit apply. And now that it's in game mode, it's acting as if almost everything is able to be pretty much a game that you're able to record except for the browser, Chrome, and YouTube for mainly obvious reasons. So now if you wanted to, let's say that I go over into, let's say, the Twitter. When I pop up on Twitter, check that out. You can see here that this is actually my game tools. When I click here, now I'm able to hit on record, and then now I am actually recording what I have on Twitter which is actually pretty cool. So you can check out you know, anything and everything. And actually the frame rate and everything is, is pretty good with this. Um, 
but once you get out of the application then you're going to be completely done with the audio re or with the video recording because once you're inside the app it's recording it once you're out of the application it is now done so if i go inside a gallery and i scroll down and i click on this option here where it says twitter now you're able to see that video that i just got done shooting uh, and the cool thing about it is that now i'd be able to share it almost anywhere but again i want to make sure you guys know you cannot do this with youtube or browser or chrome so it might actually cancel out a couple different applications that you can't use it with now here's the last part of the knowledge how do you know what you're able to record and what you're not able to record it's very simply just by going into your game launcher clicking on the adding of application this will show you all the applications that you are able to record of so you will see up here that there is no browser um, if we scroll down a little bit more you can see that there is no chrome um, if we also scroll down you're going to notice that there is actually no youtube so any application that is technically on this list you're able to go into that application now underneath game mode and then you are able to record the screen and then once you get out of the application then you're able to actually have the video game or the video recording stop and then if you're all finished and done with game mode, you'd be able to go inside of the game mode. You can put it back over into optimized if you want to, so it doesn't use as much battery. And then now you're right back to where you were from before. And that's pretty much it. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also hit on subscribe below the video or hit that little subscribe button right over here. Share this video with your friends and family if you guys loved it and if you appreciated me. Um, outside of that, I'll see you guys later. Yeah.